I'm going to talk about superficial vein thrombophobitis, uh, commonly referred to as phobitis. This is when people get blood clots in their varicose veins. So when we have varicose veins on our leg, usually the veins are compressible or squishy, um, but sometimes they can become hard and red and painful. And that term is called phlebitis or superficial vein thrombophobitis. Uh, some people think it's not that big a deal and sometimes it comes and goes and it's not that big a deal but it can be a serious medical problem. But sometimes when the patient has a DVT or deep venous thrombosis from a superficial vein thrombophobitis or when the blood clot goes into the deeper veins it can break off and go to the lungs known as a pulmonary embolism. So whenever a patient has superficial vein phobitis or thrombophobitis where the veins, the superficial veins get clots in them, it's best to be seen by a doctor because we can perform an ultrasound and with that ultrasound we can see exactly where those clots are. Now when it comes to treatment we have a couple of things we do. First of all everybody I advise use compression socks because having that compression on those veins that makes them feel better and it might even help reduce some of the spread of that clot. Uh, number two, uh, it, sometimes we'll recommend a patient take an anticoagulant like Xeralto or Eliquis, and the idea is to stop that clotting process. We generally reserve that for select cases. Generally when we see the clots are getting closer to the, for example, inside the saphenous vein, closer to the deep veins. And so when we hear about a patient of ours or somebody who we haven't seen yet that has blood clots in their superficial varicose veins, we generally like to bring them in, take a look, we do the ultrasound and help them make a determination whether they should start a blood thinner. And then we follow them pretty closely for a couple of weeks to make sure that that's getting better. Generally this will get better and then it goes back to being kind of typical varicose veins that are soft again. At that point, the question is what do we do next? And for a lot of folks, that's kind of a wake-up call that maybe it's time to have their veins treated. And in that case, we can shift gears and go from sort of the acute treatment of the superficial blood clots to sort of treating their varicose veins. And that can be done with techniques such as the closure fast radio frequency, sealing of the greater saphenous vein and the branch veins, um, venous seal, which is a medical grade adhesive that's sometimes used, and also sclerotherapy. So we always start with the acute treatment, get the patient through that, and then once that's completed, uh, we'll talk to the patient about whether or not their varicose veins need to be treated as well.